everyone, welcome. This is Leo. Hope everybody's doing a great, amazing Leo with Traffic Factory for Realtors Star Club. Um, hope everybody got a chance to uh, view the last lesson that I added for the uh, Facebook, uh, the real estate marketing, right? The real estate Facebook marketing guide that I'm putting together for uh, one of the initial modules for um, the members area. So get a chance to watch it let me know you know if you have any questions let me know what you think let me know if it's something that you perhaps uh, have used in the past any other comments any other use that you had for the pixel on Facebook um, I'll be great please share it with the group today I want to talk about a question that I had um, a person approached me basically wondering how I think the story goes that this person was running an ad right I went back to the um, to the ads manager to Facebook, and then the the ad has been running, but he's been looking to figure out how to view the post itself of the ad, right? Where to find it? Um, number one, if you're running an ad of a post that you created within the ads manager, not the ad of a of a post that already exists into ads manager and to your page. Um, then you will not see it. That's why they, they call, we call it um, a dark post because it doesn't show on your business page. Or, yeah, you actually have to go to the ads manager to view um, whatever ad you're running. All right. So, for example, um, let me go to my business page. If I go to Facebook, I go to UMAS, right? My business page. If I go there, um, I'm going to be able to see different posts. And every now and then I will get a button from Facebook that says boost. If I want to boost it, right, to um, whatever audience I decide to target to, okay? Um, let's go to the post section here, my page. So this is, this is of, of course, this post, you'll be able to see what goes on. You'll be able to see how many people like. You'll be able to see if, if somebody comment. And the reason why you want to do that is because, obviously, if you're running an ad, somebody comments, somebody put the information, um, then you want to be able to go back to it and, and, and view what's going on, right? Um, Especially to view, be be able to view the uh, the the person that actually posted something or the like, uh, so they can go ahead and follow up with that person. If you that, you know, if you actually looking to follow up the person. So, for example, any of these posts, right? I'm able to boost it uh, just by pressing the button here. So obviously, over here, I can see everything that goes on. If it's if it's a uh, a post that I boost from here, or if I if I post that I boost from the ads manager. But what happens, for example, with these posts over here, uh, right? These video ads that I'm running that are not part of the um, uh, the posts within the, my page, right? So those are what we call the dark posts because they're nowhere on my page. But if you see them, uh, they're gonna be like like they are on my page. And the way you get to that. Um, obviously, you go to your ads manager section, then you're going to see three or four different tabs over here, right? You got your account overview, you got campaigns where you hold all the campaigns you're running. Uh, but then uh, under campaigns, you got your ad set. And that's something I can go more in depth in some other stuff. By the way, go back and check up the, um, I don't know if I touched this area yet, but go back and check, check up the, um, the, the real estate marketing guide that I put in for Facebook together. Um, I'm not sure if I already cover it or what, but um, that's definitely something that we're going to get more into it, right? Uh, so you got your different buckets over here. You got campaign, which is like your uh, your your main bucket. Then you got uh, buckets under that, which is ad sets. And then you got, obviously, more buckets under that, which is the actual ad itself. And here I got three under one ad set, under one campaign. I have three ads, for example. And if I want to see the post, I just go into edit. 
And I'm going to see the post here on this side. But if I click onto this little square with the arrow pointing over there, I can see the actual post with the comments, right? See where it says I have different options. You can either share a link. Um, you can preview on device, right? Send your notification to your mobile device so you can see the post. Uh, you can see over here, if you click on here, see post. Uh, it will open another tab on your browser where it takes you to see the actual post. It's post. Um, post itself, and and then you have these other options, right? You Facebook news, um, but also I can do this. Facebook post with comments. So, if 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 I click the one that says Facebook desktop news or mobile news, it's just a demo. It's just an example. Of what it will look like if you if people are scrolling through the timeline, how your your ad is gonna look like, yeah, right? how your post is gonna look like, and that's basically what people will see, right? Uh, you see all your friends stuff what they're doing, and eventually you you'll see what will happen if you were, um, you know, one of your friends watching your ad. But when I went into this option over here, the Facebook post with comments, I can actually see right. Um, the the reach that he had and the, the views and if anybody likes it, uh, I can see the the interaction right that people had. Now, one thing you want to do is if people like something within your ad, right? If you, if some, if people reacted to your ad, they give it a like, they give it a heart, they give it a anything else they could give on the, any other reaction. What happened is um, uh, you can invite people. Uh, those people that reacted to your to your ads, you can invite people to like your page. Uh, so that's another way to basically get more likes to your page. Another a quick tip right there for for everybody. Uh, so I believe this is what that person was looking for to find the ad itself that actually you cannot find on your page because it's it's an ad that was built within the ads manager. I believe this is what that person was asking for. If it's not, uh, let me know. We can. Uh, Definitely answer your question, but again, right? If you into your ads manager, you have the different uh, tabs over here, right? Um, obviously, you want to select if you have multiple campaigns. You perhaps want to select one campaign and then go to the ads to see the ads that are running for that campaign, so that you can actually find the ad that you want to see in the within in the comments that are being posted. All right. Uh, all right, so once you find the ad, you can click on edit over here, and then once you go to edit, this is where you can go back and change some of the stuff within your ad, but if you notice, there's a little square over here with an arrow pointing um, up to the right. Um, you can click on that, and that's what will give you the options, and the option you want is the one that says see post, Facebook post with comments. Uh, so that, I hope that this information was helpful. Uh, I think I wanted to cover something else, but I'm forgetting right now. If you think this information was helpful, let me know. You know, um, uh, comment comment below to see what other what kind of other information you would like to see. If you like the information, go ahead and share it. If you have any feedback from me, you know, saying "Hey, Leo, you suck," or "You need to get this better," let me know as well. All right? Uh, I'm learning as you guys are, and I hope I can um, at least take the burden off your head of going out and researching and see what's going on, uh, and bring it to you here. Uh, in a way that hopefully you can comprehend. Uh, and if you want to go ahead and access the members area, okay, uh, so you can see all the other trainings that we put, you can go to, you can go and sign up to members.trafficfactoryforrealtors.club. You can sign up or log in if you already have your account. Um, if you also want to go to if you, YouTube, you can also find um, different videos that i done in reference to real estate marketing. It's just that uh, the, I think one of the things you can do is you go find Leo Callejas. And of course, I use the same picture in all of my profiles, so this is here for you to find me. Uh, and you notice there, that's my my picture that is in all profiles. And then you can uh, just go to Leo Callejas and find all the, all the, the different videos. Um, Hello there. But the members area just basically has it in a, in a uh, nicer order if you just want to go to like an order specifically. Uh, and stuff that had to do related to 
how to advertise on Facebook, how to advertise on Instagram, how to advertise on Twitter, stuff like that that we're going to be putting together. But so far, I only have Facebook. All right. So hopefully this information was helpful. Uh, again, if you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, have a good one.